What's happening Hardscapers? Today I want to talk about this. This is a measuring wheel but it's not just a simple measuring wheel. This actually connects to your phone and allows you to take digital readings on a job site and do very easy calculations. I actually purchased this last year and I've been sitting on it till about now when I'm doing much more in-depth projects but I've also just been too lazy to get to learn everything that this thing can do. And really when I purchased this, I felt it was a luxury item. I didn't think, I saw it online, I thought, ah, oh, that's pretty cool, I'll just spend the money, play around with it, see what it is. But the more I play around with it, the more I find it has become a necessity on every job I go to quote. I do have a normal, regular measuring wheel, but this thing really does a great job of providing a great snapshot of what I've just measured and allows me to do calculations. Where this thing really shines is actually for swimming pools. If you're going to be doing the coping or if you're going to be renovating a backyard living space or even if you're going to be doing it from scratch to be able to take this and measure around the pool to get a precise measurement for the perimeter of that pool to be able to measure the entire backyard and to do this all in one shot and have a digital readout of each of these measurements to be able to calculate the area of these very easily on your device and then bring them back to the office and to be able to draw on that to do your material takeoffs to do your design everything that this thing offers in a digital easy to use format is really quite incredible this is the plot by carta and all you need to do is to turn on this by simply clicking you put your phone in the top here you download the app and you can extend this handle a little bit here to get to the top, make it nice and ergonomically correct for you. You just connect your phone to it, put it in the top here, and you create a new drawing for what you're going to be measuring. You simply just walk around with it. You wanna make sure that it does stay perpendicular to the ground at all times, and you're moving around with it as you're measuring whatever it is that you're measuring. You can mark different areas of a project. As you get closer to where you started, if you're doing a closed space, it'll start to beep at you and flash to let you know you're getting close to your initial point where you can close that and then start a new drawing within the same project. So here's what we're doing is starting a new project, naming it after we just played around in that first little slide there. So essentially we're gonna hit start and then we can start moving around this backyard to draw a shape of our patio and this we get from one point to another. You could mark out each of these points in order to get measurements for each of these points. If it's a patio with one side against the foundation, you can measure the three other lengths of that patio to give you where you would need an edge restraint, for example. But as you can see, we get closer to our starting point here, which is marked on the plot. And you can see that it starts flashing and it lets us know that we're getting close. And it asks us if we want to close our loop here. So we clicked yes and we have a closed patio, a rough patio that's just playing around. But you can see that it gives you automatic measurements, including perimeter, area, the first measurement, second measurement, and that second measurement is just that closed loop there. But if we were to mark each of these, it would give us each of those measurements. And also if we went off and started a new drawing on this same project, we could get multiple measurements for each of these different areas. And this is just playing around with all of the different functions that are available to you with this. You can even calculate the volume with this with cubic feet and cubic yards, whatever you may need to be able to calculate your base. So this is excellent because you could just input the depth for that project and you get the specific amount of cubic yards or cubic feet, whatever that may be for your base material. Remember, if you are measuring, you should be measuring that base extension that would be required with any paver patio. 
So as you can see, as we input the depth, this will change based on our depth and based on the measurements that we've actually gone ahead and measured for this path. I'm actually pretty amazed at everything that this allows us to do, including entering names of calculations. And then when we're all done, we can send this off straight to your email to be able to look at in the office when you are completely done. And this can really streamline a process if you have somebody measuring and somebody designing based on those measurements. You can see that we actually did a pool measurement for some coping so we're able to walk around that entire pool and be able to get the perimeter measurement for that in order to get a solid and accurate measurement for our pool coping so that we're not going to be messing around with a tape measure bending it around trying to get that of course we could use a simple measuring wheel but this just makes it so much easier with our calculation for this as well as being able to visualize it like I said the more I play around with this the more I learn about it the more I pick up on everything that it can do for me this is a really great unit especially if you're sending somebody else other than yourself out there to take measurements to be able to report back to the office for somebody else to do the design or just to really make a seamless process in terms of somebody that doesn't have background knowledge on taking all these measurements and calculating them to be able to introduce them to that and to make a really systematized process in order to do that. Now obviously they should learn how to do these calculations, they're not difficult over time, but this just allows for that smooth process in order to do that. This started as a luxury item for me, but quickly became something that I'm very happy to own and will be using on every single project that I go to quote quite literally a necessity now in my business though you can absolutely get away with just using a measuring wheel for most projects you should definitely have something more than a tape measure at your disposal especially as you get into larger projects like outdoor living spaces it does cost about three times as much as a regular measuring wheel but with the technology behind it and their ability to continue to improve and update what they've got going on with that app, I'm very happy with this purchase. I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description below if you're interested in getting it. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so we do get a small commission on that. If you're interested in going through that link and purchasing one of these yourselves, you do help to support the channel. But we also have a article on our website, howtohardscape.com, that will be also linked below if you wanna compare this to other measuring wheels that we do also recommend. If you found this video helpful for whatever reason, please give it a like, comment below any questions that you may have, any videos that you want to recommend me make, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hardscaping content. Thank you so much for watching.